Hey, y'all, I know the lighting is terrible, but with the markets the way they are, I feel like I have to jump on here and tell you my thoughts. Otherwise, you might think I slunk away to my cave, licking my wounds. Um, I'm feeling great, and I think you should too, especially if you've invested in crypto recently. So let's jump into this real quick because I'm tired and I got stuff to do, but this is important. And it says April 2022. That's not even right. It's May. We're going to deal with that. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Shout out to my REM fans out there. Welcome to the bear market and maybe a new, a new recession. So the fact is we're in some kind of bear market, and I think there's a good chance we're entering some kind of recession. And I just want to say that I think that recession will be brief. I think money printing will ensue, and that's part of the thesis around Bitcoin anyway. So let's jump in. Uh, you know, I'm not your financial advisor by now, so it is what it is. But knowledge is power and uh, the pizza was good. I'm just going to throw that out there for all you people who know what's up. All right. Bear market. Yeah, I just took the screenshot uh, a little while ago, um, about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago. And we're at 33.3. Hello, William. So uh, I was buying at 39, close to 40 dollar cost averaging in over the last week and a half. So this is a better price than that. So um, I'd be buying if I were you and, and I were thinking about it still. So Bitcoin down in the seven days, 5%, Ethereum down 5%. You scroll down, Solana down 13, Terra down 12.5, Cardano down 12.7, Dogecoin down 16.4. Um, so obviously this isn't looking good and this is great because the first time I went through this, I was all freaked out. I had bought probably FOMO in a little bit and, uh, I thought, okay, you know, what do I do now? And I didn't sell any of my, any of my digital assets. And therefore I still have all those same assets. They went up in value and now they've gone down again. So if you're, you know, you've purchased digital assets in the last year, you and everybody else is down. That's just where we're at. As they say, you only lose money when you're selling your assets and you're taking a loss. So uh, my kid, one of my children asked me if I'd lost anything. It's like, well, we have less dollars in there if we want to cash it out. But since we haven't cashed anything out, then we have all the same amount that we purchased of whatever Bitcoin. So just something to keep in mind. I know that's very basic and logical, but you know, you have to remember that when things are bad, people are running out of the burning building. You're either running in to buy more or you're just chilling in there. So lots of bad stuff. Warren Buffett, I respect the guy. He's one of the greatest investors of our time. And he came out and doubled down on his negativity about Bitcoin. I don't agree with him, obviously. Uh, I sort of feel like he missed the boat. But hey, it's Warren Buffett. You know, I'm just going to throw that out there. You got to make your own decisions. Maybe that scares you. Uh, it does make me take pause, makes me think, makes me want to go back and do more of my research. And I still feel bullish about Bitcoin. Uh, right now is the question is, and this is true for the equities stock market, as well as for the digital assets, crypto world, should I buy the dip? My answer is absolutely. That's how you make money. If you invested money, you really couldn't afford to lose. And now you're freaking out then yeah, you shouldn't buy the dip because you never should have invested in speculative assets to begin with. Uh, Bitcoin supply and profit loss says a majority of network is still in profit. As explained by an analyst in CryptoQuant Post, past trends may suggest that the current Bitcoin market still hasn't reached a bear bottom. So, you know, we could see prices dip as low as in the low 30s. Some people think it will be worse. I, I don't. But shoot, if it does and you've been sitting on the sidelines saying it's too late, if you don't buy at that point, then there's no hope for you. <laughs> Bitcoin bear market may take the Bitcoin price to $25,000, says trader with stocks due to capital. Uh, with stocks due to capitulation. So imagine a bulk cap sizes, right? We're kind of like teetering over. If everything really kind of, if the whole bulk tips over, then we could see Bitcoin drop to 25K. Um, but it says here, if you look at the byline, it might be hard to see on your screen. One analyst believes Bitcoin is already coming out on top versus equities. Remember, equities means stocks. So I'm going to read this because I think it's really important. Great article. Uh, this is from Cointelegraph. Um, on the long-term view, popular analysts continue to favor Bitcoin's enduring strength following a period of upcoming pain. Speaking of Wall, uh, Wall of All Streets podcast, 
think that might be supposed to be Wolf of All Streets, just FYI. A uh, host, Scott Melker, on May 2nd, Mike McGlone. See, now that, you know, one typo, one misspelling as an English teacher, that makes me question the whole article. Still a good article, but just throwing that out there. Chief commodity strategist uh, as Bloomberg at Bloomberg Intelligence said the reset of crypto and traditional markets alike was already happening. This is an ebbing tide of massive speculative excesses in all markets. Cryptos were just a great leading indicator, and now we're taking the tide out, and it's a question of how far. So in other words, to put that in plain English, a lot of people speculated a lot of liquidity or a lot of cash came into the market. Now we're getting nervous. The federal government's raising you know, interest rates, and things are starting to, to leach out. How, how bad is it going to be? We don't know yet. Now, remember, this is all in context of the market is going to crash, but it's eventually going to go up unless you know the world ends. So uh, this week, the Fed's going to raise 50 basis points for the first time in years. I could go back and check, but I haven't seen that in a long time. So we're seeing you know all these really negative things in the macro in the big picture. And so of course, Bitcoin is going to suffer from that because Bitcoin is part of the world and Bitcoin is highly speculative, at least according to most people. So this is all something that that we thought could happen. It is happening. We don't know how bad it's going to be, but it will rebound. That's the idea. So jumping ahead, man, I'm losing my voice. Long day at work today. Uh, now, with all that negative news, let's look at what's actually happening. Uh, none of the good news makes any difference practically when you're in a bear market because no one wants to hear it. We're worried. We're not going to be putting more money into it for now. Panama follows El Salvador as it plans to adopt Bitcoin and other crypto like XDC network as legal tender. So we have whole nation states, whole countries adopting Bitcoin. So don't forget that. Uh, Pierre Poliver, I know I said that name wrong, wants to bring Bitcoin adoption to Canada. Canadian politics has transformed from unimpressive and unambitious to an exciting new policy direction that includes Bitcoin at the center. I'll just leave that there. Just think about how big this is and what's happening and how quickly. Um, and then Solana price plummet as investors joining Bitger. This is my bonus for you today. This is completely BS. Uh, Analytics Insight is a made up news source. They, it's just, just such a crazy thing. So my little bonus out the door today is that um, you have entire websites, news outlets that are complete garbage, just utter BS pumping out news. This website is was created by Bitger, which is this made up layer one um, blockchain that's supposedly better than Solana. And Solana did have another outage. That's a big concern. I believe in Solana. I've invested in it. I'll continue to invest in it. I think outages are, aren't great, but obviously the, the network can get strengthened. But it's just funny that Bitger, what does it say down below? The Bitger project has been among the most discussed cryptocurrencies across the world. Do your own research on this, but uh, it's just, I want you to be careful out there. There's so much bad information. So I'm buying the dip. I'm excited. To me, the price of Bitcoin going lower is honestly, on the one hand, I believe in Bitcoin in the long run. So it's kind of sad to see all this you know, negativity in the market out there, but it's par for the course. It's part of the bigger picture of our um, world and national economy. And to me, honestly, I just look at it as a chance to buy Bitcoin on the cheap. And I would encourage you to do the same. So, all right, Mr. Todd's out of here. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Best wishes.